The time is at 6.25 and Boris Johnson is due to submit his plans for a Brexit deal to let to Brussels later today. Uh, the Prime Minister will tell the EU that it's his final offer and what there will have to become, uh, some custom checks on the island of uh, Ireland, an idea that has so far been rejected by the EU. The Prime Minister will address the Conservative Party conference before submitting uh, new proposals to the EU. Well, Jennifer McKinnon is the editor of Genesis News and a freelance political journalist. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. Are you expecting Boris Johnson to come out today then all guns blazing? Yes, um... Talking about this last night, um, it was clear that Boris Johnson had to come up with something quite dramatic um, because at the moment he's absolutely plagued by all these revelations, um, allegations about his personal life, both over the uh, American businesswoman Jennifer Curie and also um, these, these allegations that have come out about him groping two journalists, um, including the, the journalist Charlotte Edwards. So... Um, given that there's uh, most of the announcements had already been made um, around the police force, around schools and hospitals, um, it really did have to be some kind of big Brexit deal like this um, to try and knock that off the front pages. So I think that's why we're seeing this now. Yeah, and he's expected to close the conference, I'm sure, with that slogan that he's been saying, let's get Brexit done. But the reality of achieving that, well, it's it's just looking impossible, well, certainly far more difficult Yes, um, what he's doing here is is um, quite belligerently putting in front of the EU um, a, a good fortnight before the deadline. Um, this idea that they either need to take it or, or leave um, what what he's suggesting, um, which. Uh, it's something quite unusual in that it, it, it would involve some kind of um, some kind of border, basically. Um, it, although although Northern Ireland would would stay um, in, in the well, would come out of the customs union, it'd stay in the single market, and that wouldn't mean there'd have to be um, some some customs posts, um, which which is which is equivalent to the kind of hard border that we've been desperately trying to avoid. Um, and all this all this argument over the backstop, um, in theory, this could replace the backstop. But in reality, the EU um, hasn't come anywhere close to accepting any kind of ideas like this um, over the last three and a half years. Yeah, I mean, Dublin and, and Brussels clear about not wanting to accept um, custom checks in Ireland at all. Do, do you think we're at a stalemate here? Um, well, let, let's see what, what the EU um, what the EU says. Um, but I would not have very high hopes... Um, because, as I say, th this is not this is not entirely a new idea. You know, we've heard very similar ideas to this before, um, and basically, it's it's a reworking of of Theresa May's deal, so that instead of the whole UK um, staying in the in the single market, it's it's Northern Ireland only. So, in some ways, it's actually worse than Theresa May's deal, um, because what what you would end up with is it's Northern Ireland with borders on two sides, um, both in the Irish Sea between between Northern Ireland and Great Britain, and between Ireland, uh, the, the Republic of Ireland, and Northern Ireland. Um, for, for four years until 2025, conveniently the time um, under which we could maybe expect a fresh election, um, and, and, and then giving Northern Ireland, basically forcing Northern Ireland in, into um, having a, a border poll, um, its own referendum on whether or not it wanted to stay um, with, the, with Great Britain or, or unite with Ireland, it seems. Morning, Jennifer. It's Tom here. Uh, not to be cynical at all, but do you think that the idea is actually that this proposal... In some respects, we already know that, you know, the Irish government isn't going to like it. The EU probably isn't going to like it. So yeah. if you're being cynical, you could say it's deliberate. You, you know, maybe the prime minister knows it won't work and that forces us closer to a no deal Brexit, which whatever you think that could break the deadlock. Um, I think you're probably right, uh, given the, the the belligerence, as I say, that, that, that the uh, the Boris Johnson government has, has acted with since since he came to power. Um, Given what we saw over prorogation, the, the unlawful prorogation, given the constant um, threats that he is perhaps going to abide by the letter of the Ben Act, but not the but not the spirit of it, that he'll find some kind of loophole to get around this idea that um, that the UK cannot leave um, the EU without a deal unless there's parliamentary approval. Um, it, it does seem just designed to to wind people up um, to say that he's he's you know he's made an effort to strike a deal, um, but in the full expectation that yes, as you say, it, it, it will be rejected by the. EU. And just very briefly, Jennifer, uh, Prime Minister's question times might look a bit different today. <laughs> yes, because Boris Johnson is in Manchester giving his speech and because, um, well, his, his the seventh, seventh vote in seven votes that he lost um, was, was to get a recess period for his... Um, for his parliamentary conference, um, then, yeah, obviously he cannot attend PMQs. And Dominic Raab is going to be doing it instead. Um, 
And interestingly, for the first time, Labour is going to put up um, Diane Abbott. She's going to be the first black person to take PMQ. So, yeah, it should be very interesting indeed. Be very interesting. Uh, thank you very much, <laughs> Jennifer McKinnon, there, editor of Genesis News and a freelance political journalist. 